it going guys it's your boy randy in this video i'm going to show you guys how to calculate the total number of blocks using the web app all right so i have a sample web app here it's mobile friendly too as you can see yeah you can use this anywhere but for me, so in case you want to choose your measurement just click on this green button select your measurement i'm going to click on fit so directly send you to the was a fit container so that's it. and you enter values and you are good to go all right so before i start using this web app i have to explain certain things first like how to find the total length the area of what area of windows area of doors and other stuff so i'm entreating you guys to wait and watch to the end of the video so i could clarify things for you guys all right so we don't not waste my time let's jump right into it so i have an auto card here yeah i have a sample drawing here so with this drawing we're going to calculate the total number of blocks required for the building plan all right before we could calculate the total number of blocks and um, we have to know how to calculate for the main gap for the main gap the overall main gap with the overall main gap we have external main gap and internal main gap so the external was us in this this are the words the external main gap so that's the external walls. let's let's assume that those are the external walls so that's the external main gap and the internal walls are in this wall from here to here to here so the walls inside are the internal gap so this 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 and that so those are the walls. those are the internal main gap and we have several openings like windows doors and other small these are small so let's say ventilator other stuff all right so what you're going to do next is to what calculate for the standard main guard but with the standard main guard we have two um, procedures we have the out to out dimension we have the in to in dimension without to out this is the overall length and overall weight so the overall weight is 9.4 and overall length is 11.1 but with the in to in this is the sub length and sub weight so those in this so we have subs so this is a sub weight sub weight but the overall weight is 9.4 as in this and the overall length is 11.1 all right so before you calculate the main guard the external main guard we had the overall length as 11.1 from the building plan from what i showed you and we have overall weight as 9.4 so you're gonna sum that up after summing that up we have 20.5 so we're gonna multiply 20.5 by 2 to get overall area of the building plan. So after multiplying it by 2, we had 40.0 meters. So that's the area of the building plan. But because we are using out to out as our dimension, we have to what take that less. So with R less, we have a formula that's 4 by 2 by half by the block thickness. So there's it. 4 by 2 by half by the block thickness. But from our building plan, we have a block thickness of 0.225 as in this 0.225 the same thing i said from here to here 0.225 from here to here 0.225 so that's our um, that is our what our block thickness okay and let's also use 115 mm as a block thickness that's 0.15 meters but with this video we're going to use 0.225 from the bottom plan what i just showed you all right so um, and what you have to do is you have to bear this formula in mind bear this formula in mind and only the block thickness only the first year so you have to know the block thickness from your bottom plan just put it there and multiply the 4 by what 2 by half by the what by the block thickness from your bottom plan so from my bottom plan i had was 0 0.9 meters as in what 0 0.9 meters okay so i'm gonna what, deduct the 0 0.9 meters from 41 0 meters so from what the area of the building plan so from the area of the building plan our external main gap is 40.1 meters so that's our external main gap all right so let's jump right into internal main gap with the internal main gap we have the internal main gap we have horizontal walls so the walls inside are the internal main gap so we have the horizontal we have the vertical this this and that but horizontal you have this the whole of this line and from here also to here is also horizontal so we're gonna sum the horizontal first so from here to here is 10.5 so these are dimension 10.5 and also from here to here is also 2.45 so we're gonna sum the horizontal up 
So there was on the real 10.5 plus 2.5. That's 12.95. Whatever to call. I'm gonna sum here. Here and here also up. So from here to here is 4.0 and also from here to here is also 4.0. So we're gonna sum the 4.0 plus 4.0 plus 4.5. That's here to here. So that's in this. Uh, so the vertical we had 12.5 meters so before you get the internal main gap you have to sample the vertical and horizontal and our internal main gap is 25.45 meters so you are done finding the external main gap and the internal main gap so what you have to do next is you have to sample the external main gap and the internal main gap to get our overall main gap so overall main gap is 65.55 meters all right so what you're going to do now um, next is to find a gross area the reason why you are finding a gross area is to deduct openings from it, which I'm going to explain soon in this video. So I'm going to teach you guys to wait. Um, so with this, with the gross area, let me explain this thing. With the gross area, let's assume you have a height of three meters. Is a three meters, and with the total length, so the total length is a um. Is the mean the overall mean gap we just found? So our total length is 65.55, and let's assume you have a height of what three meters. So with the gross, you have to multiply this and this, multiply this and this. So as for the gross, we have, um, three by 65.55 meters square, we have 196.65 meters square. So with this, we're gonna what deduct openings from it. We're gonna deduct openings from it to get on um to get our our net area. So with the openings, let's assume we have a door. Let's assume we have a door here. So this is our door. So every door has a length on top. Every window also has a length on top. So let's assume our um, the door. Sorry, let's assume the height of our length in is zero point two five. So from here, um, just a minute. Uh, all right. So from here to here, from here to here, zero point two two five. And also from um, the height of our door from here also to here is given in our plan. So the door, so let's say we D, we D. So this is a door, this is also a door, this is also a door. But we don't plan, we have only one D and we have four Ds, four Ds with a door, four D ones with a door, sorry, four D ones with a door. We have one D. So with the D, we have um, 1.2 by uh, 1.2 m by 2.1 meters. So that's the dimension. So 2.1. This case, that's the what that's the height. All right. So with the height. So let's use D. So with D, the height is 2.1. So let's assume we are extending the height of the door from here, from this side to this side, and also extend this side to this side. So now let's ignore this side for now. Let's also ignore this side for now. So now the height of the door is being extended. At first it was here to here, but now it's been extended from here to the to the length. In. So now its original height will change. So what you're what you're gonna do is you're gonna add 0 0.225 to the original height for the door. So the dimension for the door for D was 1.2 by 2.1 from the building plan, but because the height 2.1 has been extended here. You're going to add a 0 0.225 to it, 225 to it, and multiply it by one. The reason I'm multiplying it by one is we only have one D. We only have one D for our, our building plan. We only have one D here. I'm going to multiply it by one and get 2.7 meters. So the same as Z1. So with the D1, the dimension was 0 0.9 by 2.1. So the 2.1 is the height. And as we have four D1, one, one, two, three, four. So, um, its height is also being extended by the same approach. Being extended, we have four D ones from what I showed you one, two, three, four. So we're going to multiply by out four, and what we had was 8.37 meters square. So, the same as the window. So, every window also has a length on top. So, let's assume this is our window. This is our window, and the height of the window too is 2.0. So, let's assume the window is being extended to the length. And so we're gonna we're gonna add 0 0.225 to its original height. We're gonna add 0 0.225 to its original height as 2.0. We have only one W 
you can see so with, with the w you have two w's you have one two you have two w's with the w one we have one two three and with the w two we have one two so we have only two w's so we're gonna multiply it by two we're gonna multiply that by two and what we had was 8.90 meters square so let's so this as follows so with the w one two the same procedures with the w two that's the same procedure so what you're gonna know you're gonna sum the doors up Gonna sum the doors up. The total area of doors is 11.6 meters square, and the total area of the windows is also 17.65 meters square. So at this point, we're gonna jump into our what? Into our web app. To our web app. Okay, and enter the value. So with our web app, with our web app, um, what I'm gonna do now is, we're gonna do now. Is enter the value so this so this is a link so the web app is a link so you can see it in the description below you can follow the link and use this web app all right but because we are using meters our as our as our unit we're gonna use meters here so with the meters let's enter the total length of also that mean that there's a 65.65 right Sorry, 65.55 as a total length and the height of four. So let's assume we have a height of three, so as in this three. And with the total area of those, we had the total of those, we had 11.6 in this. In this. Sorry, I have 11.6 as in this 11.6. 17.65 of windows we have 17 17.65 17 so we're gonna click on calculate so you see the two the total area of blocks so the total number of blocks required from dpc to the length is what 1658 blocks so the blocks required is 1658 blocks so the total number of blocks required is 1758 blocks all right so what you're gonna do next is we'll go ahead and prove how we had our thousand seven hundred and one fifty eight blocks. We'll go ahead and prove this. So now let's prove it. So with this, we're gonna sum the word the total area of doors and the total area of windows as well opening you know now. The total area of openings is twenty eight point eight one meters square. As I said with the gross area, we're gonna deduct the openings from the gross area to get our net area. Because it is like openings, like doors, windows, does not work, does not require block work. So you have to deduct that side from it. Okay. So our net area is what the gross area minus the openings, which is 167.84 meters square. So you go ahead and find one area of one block. So area of one block is 0.1. 0.025 meters square. So let me explain it here. So this is a um a concrete block is mostly used in West Africa. Its weight varies. So let's say mostly its weight is 225 mm, and others also use 150 mm. But with this, we're going to use 225 mm. But when they rough the block, mostly the weight doesn't matter. What matters, what matters is the height and the length. So Okay, so we're gonna multiply what the height by the length. We have two two five multiplied by what four fifty as a what as a length. So with this, this is what millimeters. So it's been converted to meters. So we have zero point four fifty m multiplied by zero point two two five m as in what as in the area of one block. So we have zero point one zero one two five meters square. All right. So with this, we go ahead and calculate the total blocks required. Total blocks required is the net area being divided by area of one block, and the total number of blocks required is thousand seven hundred fifty-eight blocks. So you could tell that from our web app, we had the same thing. From our web app, we have thousand seven hundred fifty-eight blocks. It's in the same as this. So with our web app, we don't have to go through this procedure. So as soon as you reach here, as soon as you reach here, just enter your total area of blocks. In Windows, the total length and height, you are good to go. Mm, all right, so I have a last enough to explain these things to you. 
whatever um, every building has three phases out from the foundation to the DPC and also from the DPC to the lantern. So what I just did was the DPC to the lantern and also from the lantern to the roofing. But before I do that, um, I'm planning to drop a video on how to calculate the total number of tiles required for a room. So you just measure the room, enter the values and you are good to go. Or I'll just, I'll just do a simple app for you guys. For you guys and you just enter, sorry, just enter the values. You are good to go. Yeah, so lastly, what I'm going to show you guys is you see with every button it has three faces. It has from the foundation to the DPC, from the DPC to the lantern, and also from the, uh, the lantern to the roofing. But what we did was from the from the DPC to the lantern. So I'm going to show you how this is done. But before that, um I'm planning to drop a video on how to calculate the total number of tiles per room. So you just look at what you just look at what your bedroom plan, bedroom plan like this. Enter the dimensions of the rooms into the web app, and to calculate the total number of tiles required for the room. So if you're glad about that, drop it in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like the video, subscribe it, and click on the bell icon beside the subscribe button. All right, so. If anyone is there and he um he wants to know how this web app is being developed, so I use it table and CSS for the front end. So if you want to know how this thing is developed, drop it in the comment section below. I'm gonna drop a video on that for you guys. So I use it and CSS for the interface. Whatever I see is it and CSS. But the responsiveness, the responsiveness and the calculations you see is JavaScript. So let's say I click on calculate. If you see, it said please enter the talent in the height of us. It's because I haven't entered what any values here. I haven't entered any values here. Alright, all right, so that's it. So that's the responsiveness. So if you want to learn it, drop it in the comment section below. I would do a video on that for you guys. Alright, so with the first phase, the total length to remain the same throughout the building to 65.55. And the height varies. So let's say the height of the foundation from the foundation to the DPC is 0 0.9. I'll calculate so you have 503 blocks, and from the DPC to the length, we have already done that in the video. So we have 1,758 blocks. But from the length to the roofing, we had length to the roofing. So the rest remains the same. The total length remains the same. And let's say the height is 0 0.7 meters. I'm gonna click on calculate. So now it is a number of blocks for the whole building. A so let's click on calculate all blocks. It's 2694 blocks. 2694 blocks. So 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 you guys so this is a mistake. So it's from what lengthen lengthen to the roofing. So I'm gonna change that soon. Lengthen from the roofing. So bear in mind it's lengthen from the roofing. All right, so let's into the roofing. So the total number of blocks required for the whole building is 2,694 blocks, disregarding the what the wastage. All right, so if this brought value to you, make sure you drop it. You drop a comment in the comment section below. Like the video, subscribe to it, share it with your friends, and I love your face, and I'll see you in the next video.